Hi, it's Angie. Welcome and thank you for joining. In this video, I'll try to explain briefly how the app actually works, why it generates fees, uh, fee products, and how you can manage those products. Uh, first of all, here I should mention that we are not allowed to add fees at the checkout as separate uh, line charges, similar to shipping charges, taxes, and we are not allowed to edit or uh, manage the checkout page itself in general. This is a secured page and we can't um, change it in any way. So the simplest and the most stable way for us to add our fees is to um, add them as products to the checkout. Let me show you how this happens and how this actually works. Um, if you create a new fee, open its admin panel, you will see a separate block here called advanced settings. And this block actually manages the fee product. Uh, as you can see, you can the app offers you to select one of the of your existing products and convert uh, that product into a fee. You can click that link. Um, you will see the list of your existing products. Um, you can select any product and make it a fee. That product will be uh, will represent this particular fee at the checkout each time. But please keep in mind um, that uh, if you select uh, one of your regular products, uh, this won't be available uh, available for purchase as a regular Shopify item anymore. It will be uh, added only as a fee. Um, but customers won't be able to buy it anymore. Okay, if you don't have a specific product or you would like to serve as a fee, you can um, just create a fee the usual way. Uh, for example, I will create a test fee with a, a test value at $1, for example, and save this fee. Okay, as you can see, this section has changed. Now we have, we already have a product here. It has uh, the same title as our theme. Let's visit its admin page. Okay, here we are. This is our product. It has the fee title. Uh, also, it has one default um, variant. This variant corresponds to the fee value we created, test value. It has the same title and the same price, $1. Also, such products always have specific product type, MWS uh, fee generated and the same tag. And if you uh, visit your products list, uh, our fee products will always have such a product type. So you can filter them out um, and you can distinguish them from other products. Okay, um, you can um, edit attributes of that product um, the in the regular way, the way you do this with other products. For example, you can uh, upload a picture to make a fee look more attractive, more user-friendly as the checkout. Also, you can edit the fee variant itself. Um, here, you can add some attributes you may require, for example, stock keeping unit, barcode. Also, you can decide whether a fee product should be taxable or not at the checkout. Um, you can decide whether it should be a physical product and require shipping or not. You can make a digital product. So there are no specific limitations. You can actually edit, manage those uh, products and variants uh, the way you need. But please make sure you do not edit, delete, the default attributes assigned by the app by default when the product was created. I mean titles, I mean price, and I mean product type and tag. These uh, attributes are required and if you uh, remove them or change them, the product, the fee product will become invalid and uh, the app will need to generate a new one. This um, uh, will be invalid. Thank you for your attention. I hope you will find this info helpful. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.